Hello, it's Janelle from A Mom's Tape Blog here, and I am going to show you how I very quickly can schedule a month's worth of pins using Tailwind scheduling app. And it takes me under an hour to schedule a month's worth, and I have to schedule about 200 pins per week because I do quite a bit. You can see my schedule here is completely empty. I just got an email notification that it's empty, so it's time to come back in and do this again. And so these are my time slots, and I start by using this Google Doc that I made that I just list out my board names. This makes it really fast and easy to remember what keywords to search for. So what we're going to do is we are going to head to Pinterest, I have a tab open, and I just type in a keyword. So I might say easy dinner, or whatever keyword you might be searching for. So you're going to let Pinterest generate some pins here. Once the page loads, you want to scroll down and let Pinterest load a few more times to give more results when you open up the scheduling tool. So I'm just going to scroll down here. You do want to have the Tailwind bookmarklet um, installed on your computer. You can see here I have the little um, extension. All right, once I have some results loaded, then I just click the button here and it will ask me which pins I would like to select. Now because I searched for easy dinner recipes, I'm gonna be selecting only dinner options um, because that way I won't have to individually mark each of the pins for which board I want them to go on. Um, I can just in one step type in my dinner recipe board and all of the pins can generate to that one. So now all you're gonna do is literally um, click through any that catch your eye and scroll through the listings, picking ones. You know, like these marshmallow cupcakes look great, but I'm not going to uh, click on them because I would have to individually sort through these results in a minute on the next step. So if you just focus on your keyword, your specific board that you're looking to add recipes to, it makes pinning to your um, your schedule for Tailwind super, super easy and fast. So I'm just scrolling through here, bunch of results. I'm actually going to undo that and try one. So. Now you can see down here at the bottom of this board, um, and I have a touch screen, so I'm just scrolling using my fingers so you know, see my mouse move, but already I have 35 different pins. But I'm going to keep going through the results that are available here. The more you can get in a single load of the results, the faster this process will be for you. I mean, obviously you want to stick to the content that's going to fit what works for you. So if you're, a, you know, a very niche site and you need like a vegan recipe, make sure you include those keywords. It will really help you when you're looking to um, select the content that's going to be a good fit. Almost to the end of the results here and then we're going to move on to the next step. You can see how quickly this goes. And I like to schedule at least a month of my Tailwind queue at a time just because um, I have a lot of different boards. I probably have about 30 boards and so while it's easy to come in here and grab, you know, a hundred pins for my dinner recipe board, I don't want all of my content to be dinner recipes um, at one time, and which, I'll, which I'll explain a little bit more when we get on to the next step. Okay, so now all I did, once I selected all the ones I wanted down at the bottom there, I clicked to schedule, and it's now opening up the scheduling um, portion of this. So the first step was searching for your topic and then you're going to select the pins that interest you and now you're going to actually schedule to the specific boards that you want to. So you see here I could individually type under each of these pins the board that would best relate to them or there's an option here that I can add all of these pins to one specific board. And so I mean like if you're scrolling through the the latest feed on Pinterest and you get that Mod Podge results of a whole bunch of different topics. It's tempting to want to schedule from there, but doing this, searching by a keyword, will make it a much quicker process for you. 
All right, so I just started to type my board name, Dinner. It brings up my list here, and it's recommending this one, which is the one I want to do. You can see, once I've selected it, it filled it in on every single one of these pins. Now, if you haven't really used Tailwind much, I will warn you or explain a couple of things to you. Um, occasionally, right here in this part where it shows where this recipe actually came from, or where the content actually came from if you're not doing recipes, if this isn't filled in on the particular pin, like whoever originally pinned it didn't include the source, then um, Tailwind won't let you continue to pin that. They'll warn you that it's missing the source and you'll have to either add the source that's applicable or you can come up here to the corner and you can say delete and it will bring you to a confirmation asking if you actually want to delete that or cancel that. Um, so just that's a good warning to know because I've, I've run into that before and at first it was like, I'm not sure what you're talking about, but if you scroll quickly through this, you would see a, a box where you could type in text. So we're going to just go ahead and hit schedule all. I know I want to keep all of these. Another thing you might actually like to note is this little yellow explanation mark here means I've actually pinned this recipe before to this board, but I pin a lot of content and it's not a big deal to pin a similar content again. And so I don't worry about that if you'd like to keep your content all very unique and different each time, you could quickly scan through that and just close out those ones or remove the scheduling. So let's go ahead and click schedule all here. And this is going to add all 69. I just saved 69 pins to my queue. I'll go over and show you my queue in just a minute. Now after you've selected yours, um, Tailwind likes to recommend a few contents. Sometimes I find a few good finds in there, but most of the time I'll just close that out before it's even suggested them. Okay, so we could repeat this process for other content. I mean, I've got all of my recipe boards listed here, so I can say, okay, now I'm going to do soups, or now I'm going to look for salads, or now I want to find some veggie recipes or any parenting ideas, whatever the keywords might be for you. And then just search for them, pin them, select the ones you want to pin, and then actually schedule them. Once you've gotten all the content that you want, and I aim, personally, I aim for at least 100 pins per my main topics. I mean, I might do less on some of my, my smaller topics. My highlighted ones here are in yellow here. Those are my priority boards that I really focus on. So, All right, we're going to go over to Tailwind. And I did have this open for you, so I'm just going to refresh it so we can see those pins that got loaded in here. Anytime you've got Tailwind open and you've just scheduled pins, you will have to refresh it to see those pins actually loaded in and have an effect when you go to, to do this next step where we're going to talk about. All right, you can see here, I've now scheduled two days worth of pins, two and a, um, two and a third, a little bit over um, two there. So now the problem with this is currently all I have is dinner recipes. Now, if that's all I pinned, if that's all my boards were, were a variety of dinner recipes, that could work great for me. But my readers would probably like to see a little more variety than just plain recipes. So in a typical session, I would sit down and do a bunch of different type of content and different types of recipes and content and crafts and kids activities. Once I had all of my content in, then I could come back over here and choose this option here to shuffle my queue. Now what this is gonna do is take all of the pins that are here in my scheduling queue, which works great when you've added all your variety, and then shuffle them up and mix up the content to give you that variety that you're looking. So just a one click button here and then confirm yes you want to shuffle it. You can lock certain pins if you have a, a specific time frame to do. Alright so that shuffled my pins and that's that's really all there is to it. Find your content, select a whole bunch under specific keywords, schedule it to one single board and then come back over here and hit to shuffle your queue. So I hope that was helpful for, for you guys. Good luck with your your Pinterest strategy and scheduling off those pins. Take care.